What is going on guys and welcome to episode 10 of Trading 2 Marathon Match Modico Royce. If you're looking to buy FIFA Ultimate Team Coins, check the link in the description below. As you can see, we're left with 10,716 coins. Picked up 30 items in the trade pile. Picked up quite a few uh, CDM Ronaldinho's in this episode, which actually turned out to be a very disappointment i'm not going to actually try and trade with them again but you'll see that in the second part of this episode uh, but as you can see we picked up quite a lot in the 4 one 2 and 2 different players and stuff like that and uh some michael richards uh some ben arthurs uh quite a lot of main United players and some rodinos but picked up this michael richards 4 one 2 and 2 right back for manchester c for 2500 coins looking for about 3k for him paul skulls 4 one 2 and 2 cdm for 3500 looking for about 4k for him maybe a little bit more Paul Scholes, 422, CDM for 650 coins. It's a very, very nice deal. Another Mika Richards, uh, right back, 41212 for Manchester City, 2500, looking for about 3k for him. And then we pick up a Hatton Ben Arthur, 41212, right mid. It's normal cards, actually a right wing, but we picked this one up in a right mid for 5500, looking for about 6 to 6.2 for him. And Michael Carrick, 352, it's CDM, 1500, looking for about 2k to 2.2. On him and Anderson 4231 CDM for Man United, uh, picked up for 1500, looking for about 1.8 to 2k for him. Ronaldinho 4222 CDM for 8k, looking for about 9, 9.2 for him. Uh, Paul Scholes 352 CDM for 1500 coins, looking for about 2 to 2.5k for him. Another Anson 4231 CDM for 1000 coins, looking for about 1.8 to 2k for him. A Fletcher 352 CDM for 1500, looking for about 2k for him. Another Michael Carrick CDM 352 for 1.5, looking for about 2k for him as well. Another Michael Carrick CDM 433, not a great formation for 1200, looking for about 1.6 to 1.8 for him. Another Michael Carrick 352 CDM for 1.5, looking for about 2 to 2.k for him, on him. A Lucas Moria, uh, not transferred one, CDM 352 for 9.5, looking for around 11k for him. Another Ronaldinho, 4222 CDM for 8k, looking for about 9 to 9.5 for him. Another Michael Carrick, 4321 this time, CDM for 800 coins, looking for about 1.5 for him. Another Hatton Ben Arthur, right mid, 41212 for 5.5, looking for about 6k for him. Another Paul Scholes, 41212 CDM, looking for. Uh, picked up 4.2, looking for about 5k on him. Another Paul Scholes, uh, 343, CDM for 1.2, looking for about 1.5, 1.8 for him. Another Ben Arthur, 4122, right mid, 5.5, looking for about 6 to 6.2 for him. An Anson for 700 coins in the CDM position, but not in a great formation, looking for about 1.5. Anson, 4222, CDM for 1.5, looking for around 2k for him. Another Mika Richards, 41212 for Manchester City. Uh, 2,500 for him, looking for about 3k for him. Another Paul Scholes, 352 CDM for 1.5, looking for about 1.8 to 2.5. Another Ronaldinho CDM, 352 this time for 8k, looking for about 9 to 9.5 for him. Another Ronaldinho, again, 4222 CDM, uh, missed that one, but Mika Richards, 41212, uh, looking for 3k for him. And Michael Carrick, 433 CDM for 850, looking for about 1.5 for him. And then another Ronaldinho, 4231 CDM, 8.1, looking for about 9 to 9.5 for him. But yeah, guys, um, I picked up quite a few trades. Uh, I do know actually know what happens, and you will see that in the next part of this episode. So yeah, guys, I'm going to list these players up, and I will get back to you once they've all sold. So I'll see you in a sec, guys. And we are back, guys. And as you can see, everything has sold, and we're to 130,891 coins. Uh, I did have an absolute horrid time trying to sell these players. Uh, the Ronaldinho's took nearly three days to actually sell. And I think I only made about 100 coin profit on them. Not going to trade with Ronaldinho anymore. But in this episode, uh, we did actually start with 115,916 coins. And we're on 130,891. That's what I said a minute ago. So that's about a 15k profit in this episode. Which is not too bad. Even though I had a very, very hard time trying to sell these. All of them sold really easily, but the Ronaldinho's, I actually sold all of them for 8,500 in the end. I was actually hoping to get about 9, 9.5k. Uh, when I did actually list all these players up, like the Ronaldinho's for 9.5k, I was looking at 145,000 coins. So I mean a very, very nice profit, but it didn't actually happen, but 
oh well, uh, we can get on and move on. It's probably because the market crash is actually happening for Team of the Season. It's an absolute bummer. Uh, all players' prices are dropping a lot, so I might not be able to bring these out uh, all the time now, guys. But I will try and do it as well as I can. But as you see, Mikkel Rich is in the 4 on 2 on 2 He actually sold for 3k. Uh, Paul Skull's in the 4 on 2 on 2 I accidentally stuck up for 4k, and he actually did sell for that. So it was a little profit on him, not too much. Uh, another Paul Skull sold for 1,600. Hatton Ben Arthur in the right mid 4 on 2 on 2 He sold for 6,200. Carrick sold for 2.2 in the CDM 352. Uh, like I was saying at the beginning, Ronaldinho's were an absolute ass, but then another character for 2.2. Uh, Lucas actually ends up selling for 10k, so it's not very much profit on him. Ronaldinho, 352 CDM, sold for 8,500. Uh, Michael Carrick sold for 1.2. Uh, ben Arthur sold for 6k. Another character for 1.4. Uh, another Paul Skulls, 4 on 2 on 2 CDM for 4.8. Uh, another Paul Skulls for 1.8. A uh, Ben Arthur, 4 on 2 on 2, right mid for 5,800. Anson sold for 1,500. Another Anson for 2k. Mikkel Richards, which was actually the 4 1 2 1 2, he sold for 3k. Paul Scholes sold for 2.2. A Ronaldinho for 8.5. Another Ronaldinho for 8.5. Uh, Anson for 2k. Uh, another Ronaldinho 8.5. Paul Scholes for 2.2. Anson for 1.8. Another Mikkel Richards for 3.2. Fletcher for 1.8. Uh, another Carrick for 2k. Another carrot for 1.6 and a Ronaldinho for 8.5. But yeah guys, like I said, the Ronaldinho's were an absolute bummer. I think I only made about 75 coins profit on all of them. Which is very, very annoying. But hopefully in the ne next episode we can be pushing up to that 150k mark. But yeah guys, um, if you have enjoyed this episode, uh, please remember to leave a, a like on this video. It really does mean a lot and I really do appreciate it. If we can get this video over, say, 50, 55 likes, that would be very much appreciated. Uh, remember as well guys, go and follow me on Twitter, that would be great, I'm um, coming up to 400 followers on there, so please go and check the link in the description below to the coin selling website, which is fast and reliable, and as well go and follow me on Twitter, and go follow me on Twitch, and remember if you actually are new around here, remember to hit that subscribe button, so thank you for watching guys, take care, and I will see you all soon, cheers, bye. <laughs>